Hello, and welcome to the Nature Channel, where Special K and I will capture and consume wild spirits. Yes. I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we're going to be uh, catching Jim Beam Rap pre-prohibition style uh, bourbon. It is uh, 45% alcohol by volume. Well, it's not vodka. It says, well, it says Kentucky Shirt Whiskey. I didn't see bourbon anymore. Oh, really? So that's what I was saying. Yeah, it's, it's rye whiskey. All right. Yeah. I suppose, yeah, that's not bourbon because bourbon has to have yeah. a certain percentage of corn. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so. rye whiskey. All right. I got you. It's a I brand new bottle. We're we cracking into it for the first time. Oh, yes. Just for you guys. Just uh, for you and for me, honestly, if I'm being serious. Now, let's talk about the price on this. It's got a screw cap, which for the price, I wouldn't expect it to have a screw cap, but it does. Well, rye is more expensive <laughs> than your than your regular. $28 um, for this bottle. That was on sale. Um, I think it goes a little more than that. We are drinking out of our etched four roses glasses. Because mm -hmm. we're fancy. You're welcome. So, uh, I like rye's. Uh, bullet, I like bullet a lot. Mm. Yeah, bullet does make a really good rye. It is, hmm, I want to say it's just slightly lighter in color than it's like a light, what I'm used to. It's like a light, light amber or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, that looks nice. On the nose, hmm. Huh. It uh, it's a lot different than our typical bourbon that we're used to reviewing. It's, on it's, the show. Uh, it's got not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot of smell. A little touch of alcoholic uh, alcoholicness. Um, Maybe a tiny bit of caramel in there. You get the just booze. just a little bit of caramel. Yeah, uh, which I was expecting, but but there's just I'm not getting a lot of barrel or anything on the nose. There's not a whole lot going on with the smell of this, which is kind of surprising to me. Uh, I've had a couple of the other, like, um, Knob Creek rye. I've had that. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've had anything else made Knob by Jim Creek Bass. is $33 for their rye. Well, I'll yeah, but, that but up over this. their rye is made by companies owned by Jim Beam. Um, yeah, this is very, very light in scent. This is a little bit surprising. Uh, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not um, light in flavor, though. Um, Woody, you get a little bit, some caramel notes in there. It's almost nutty on the back end, like a like cashew or something. Yeah, kind of. A cashew was very specific. I was just thinking of just a nut. I mean, in it's general. not like a peanut or like a like a yeah. I guess it's not Brazilian. It's not really. A, I guess if I start eliminating types of nuts. I mean, I thought you were a professional having nuts in your mouth, so I thought you would know over anybody else. I mean, oh, you would wish. Um, there's a, a hint of vanilla in there. Mm -hmm. Rye whiskeys, uh, in my opinion, tend to have a little bit more of a bite. Not necessarily an alcohol bite, more of a, it's not as, um, it's hard to explain. It's a lot more mellow. It, it, it doesn't have, well, like with bourbon, it doesn't have that mellow, smooth uh, vanilla. It has vanilla in there, but it's not as noticeable as it, uh, in normal bourbon. Mm. This one, I feel like it has, it's a bite, I'm assuming it's from the rye, some kind of bite in there that um, really stands out. I, I kind of like the bite. Um, I enjoy this. It's a tad, just a tad hotter than I would like. Um, that being said, that could be easily remedied with uh, maybe one ice cube or maybe a little bit of water. Yeah. Um, that would probably uh, fix it up for me personally. A little splash of some type of Coke. Do you have any, any notes? It's good. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, it is though legitimately pretty good. It's, um, it's smoother, but at the same time, it's got just a little bit more I do think it's alcohol. I'm pretty sure it's an alcohol bite that it's got. Um, it's good. I, I think it's uh, straight. Um, what do you call that again? What's the price of that again? It's a 28-ish dollars. Mm, straight, <laughs> I think I'll give it I'll give it a seven and a half. It would be eight if it was slightly less expensive, but um, for rides a rye, though, are, it, rides are kind of expensive. They run kind of expensive. That's on the low end of a rye price-wise. Yeah. Rides are normally, the cheapest rye I've seen is $31. Yeah. 
Um, Thirty-five dollars for for uh, knob creek rye. So I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a, a seven point five as well. Again, it's a tad bit hot for me, but I think that could be remedied with the splash of water or an ice cube. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, generally, I would prefer to drink my rye straight, but a lot of people do like to mix their drink, so that's why we give our reviews uh, straight and mixed. So we are now going to mix it. It's cool that you don't like mixing your bourbon, but we are doing it for the other folks that do. So we are mixing our, sorry, it's not bourbon, our rye with... Our um, rye whiskey. Canadian dry ginger ale and lemonade, which is literally the best mixer. As far as a whiskey slash bourbon mixer, I think that this is possibly one of the best things to mix with. Uh, it's better than regular ginger, uh, ginger ale. Oops, I, hit I went just a little bit too heavy I on that. I did two to one, you did two to one too on that. Just a little bit heavy. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is the best thing in my opinion to mix with whiskey slash bourbon. So uh, carbonation, there's still one or two levels left in there. Yeah, it's it's a little bit more carbonated see, than I would like to see. With that, what I've noticed, and this is per, uh, you're drinking, what I've noticed with these mm -hmm. is um, typically when you mix them um, with some mixer, you get a lot more of the barrel characteristics and it comes through in the nose heavy, more barrel. You get ginger and you get a lot of the barrel in there mm -hmm. and you get less of that harshness. Hmm, that's interesting. You get uh -huh. a lot of it's very woody now. Uh, you get a tiny bit of vanilla. You Just, get ginger yeah. in there. You get, you still get that bite. Mm -hmm. You get that bite that I like from the rye. Uh, it's still there, but you're, it tones down the alcohol. Also, the, it helps that there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of lemon in that. Yeah. Oh, it's it's wonderful. It's a wonderful as a mixer. Hmm. Uh, as a mixer, I think this is, I think this is probably the better straight. So? Uh, yeah, I do. I think it, I think it is a little bit better straight. Um, now, now fence. mixing it is not a bad choice, but I think there's more there's more to consider straight. There's not so much of an alcohol burn that you can't taste all of the things, but at the same time, there's enough alcohol burn that you can you can tell there's alcohol in this drink. Uh, I, I think I'll give it a I'll give it a, I'll give it a seven as a mixer. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get a stick with seven and a half. Uh, I think it's just as good as a mixer as it is straight. So I like it either way. I think you're good either way. Um, taking shots of this probably wouldn't be a problem. I don't know if I would take shots of this though. Like, I think it would be best served um, you could on take an ice shots cube. Of it. Like, I think it's to the point where you could ice cube this. Or, uh, sorry, take shots of this. Some people like to do that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, fair. But I, 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 sipping would be a good choice. Anyway, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.